Today is November 10th, 2011. Back with another video. I'm here to educate y'all some more about the Anunnaki. Okay? Now, I want to talk about the Lost Book of Inky. Okay? This Lost Book of Inky is uh, the testimony of uh, one of the Anunnaki's, the, the son, the firstborn son of Anu, okay, that sat on the throne back then, all right, and he gives account in details about the whole history of the earth. This this book, this, this book is uh, the most important document on the face of this planet, okay, as far as history. Simply because all, all other books, all Bibles, have stories, or, or just watered down stories from this book, okay? And this was written on uh, clay tablets in Samaria, alright? And Inky gives detail about the history of, 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 of the entire earth, okay? And he talks about how... Um, the Anunnaki came here okay and they did mine for gold to, to, to prepare the atmosphere etc etc okay but the one that's credited that many people don't talk about is uh, Al Alolu okay Alalu if I'm saying it correctly yes uh, Alalu he uh, was the first one that came here, and it was by accident, okay? He left the planet, uh, got lost, and uh, made his way here, okay? He discovered gold. He knew that the, the, the atmosphere was in peril uh, on, on, in Nibiru, okay? He discovered gold. The first one here, the first Anunnaki here, disco discovered gold, radioed back to uh, Nibiru, told Anu, look, Anu, I found some gold. Um, you want to save the planet? You got to get up off the throne. All right? Get up off that throne. Give me the throne. Well, give it back to me. And uh, we got a deal. So to make a long story short, okay? Alalu uh, sent some gold back to, to Nibiru or whatever. They examined it and said, this nigga ain't playing. He telling the truth. So we're going to send him whatever he needs so we can get that damn gold to fix our atmosphere. Because we hurting here. You know? And it was a, you know, it's a big planet now. Nibiru is huge. All right, the people on Nibiru is huge. That's where the giants came from in the Bible, okay? And the thing about it is, uh, you know, it, it, they needed a lot of gold to prepare the atmosphere. We talking about a planet, you know, four, at least four times the size of Earth, all right? So they needed a lot of it. And there was only one man here, all right? Alalu. Okay, that's where you get uh, the, the, the Arabs say, uh, praise Allah. Alalu, th that's who they really talking about. You know, they might not know it, but that's who they talking about. Even in the, in the Baptist church, in the black Baptist church, they talking, hallelujah. Huh? Where do you think that came from? Where do you think that came from? They just use that. They say holla. H-A-L-L. -L. The, the Arabs say Allah, A L L. But you know, you got, uh, uh, you know, I'm down south. You country folks say holla, H A L L. You know? Then neither one of them actually know what, what the word, you know, what they really saying. But it's really Alalu. Okay? Alalu was the first one that came here. Alright? Then the ship had nukes, had everything, you know? And, and uh,. He survived in, until, you know, he, he, uh, help came. The Anunnaki said, we, 
send you what you need. We good to go. Alright? So the pressure was on Anu. You know, to give up the throne. The, 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 you know, to fix the atmosphere and all that. He was too fucking stubborn to get his ass off the throne. You know? Uh, and, and, and the thing about, you know, that, that kind of stubbornness, it caused a lot of tension. Because you still had people, you still had loyalists. Uh, that was still uh, loyal to Al Alalu, okay? Just like uh, Saddam Hussein, you know, still had lo loyalists, and, 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 and Muammar G Gaddafi still had lo loyalists and stuff like that. Uh, the Egyptian president, uh, Mubarak, ex-president ex Mubarak or whatever. So he still had people behind him, you know? And there was tension on the planet. But, um, the Anunnaki, the rest of the Anunnaki got here, uh, Inky, whose name was E, uh, his name didn't change to Inky in, in, until he got here, okay? You gotta read up on it. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to narrow it down a little bit. I don't, I'm not trying to get too deep into it, but I just want to break it down to y'all. Whoever read it, this, the, the, you know, the, the real meaning behind it, okay? Now, there was this dispute between Al Alalu and Anu when when Anu got here. See, they all, they they came. We was like, we can't fucking believe this. You know, this this been right under our noses, and you know, we got to come and see it for ourselves. And so you know, everybody came. All of the high-ranking people, you know, the servants and all that shit. They came. All right, and they had um. You know, somebody temporarily sitting in for a, a, a new way, you know, when he left the uh, Nibiru, left the planet. So he came here for a little bit. And he saw how things was being ran and stuff like that. And he, you know, basically dictating how shit go, or how it should go. He pissed off Alalu, okay? Now Alalu was, you know, he was the man. He, he, he discovered this shit, okay? All credit goes to him, even to this very day. It should go to him, all right? But let me tell you why, folks. If you don't believe nothing else, you best believe that the Anunnaki were black, all right? Black folks have a moment, with what we call a nigger moment, okay? A nigger moment is when somebody piss you off. And you, you, you tell them how you feel right there, and whatever comes after that, comes after that. Alalu and Nanu had a nigger moment, okay? Alalu got pissed off because Anu said, yeah, okay, you know, Inky, uh, you in charge of the planet, Elil, you charge of this over here, over there, or whatever. He was like, nigga, fuck this. I was the one that started. If it wasn't for me, the planet wouldn't be safe. Y'all asses wouldn't be here. And he was right. Alulu was fucking right. You can't just, you know, just come in and not give some fucking credit where it's due. You know, a, a righteous judge would would, would, would would see that shit, you know? And Anu was there, and you like, you know, nigga, you better shut your fucking mouth. You know, I'm running shit here. And guess what? They had they had to they had to go toe to toe, a fight. You know, now you white folks, that's not how y'all do it. Okay, that's not the, the, uh, if you think the Anunnaki are white, you better look at that fucking story. You better look at that that passage in the story, all right? Because this is some real nigga shit right here, all right? If somebody opposed Hitler like that, Hitler would have said, "Motherfucker, you arrested, all right? And I'm gonna put your ass in torture or whatever. You gonna be in in prison and busting some fucking rocks or something." But this is a nigga moment, all right? The shit had to be handled on the spot. Fuck the processes, the, the, the due process and all that shit. You know, assembling the council and all of that. They're like, news like, fuck this. We gonna duke it out right here. I'm gonna kick your ass again. Just like I kicked it when we was back on Nibiru. So everybody assembled and they wrestled, okay? According to the, 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 the book of Inky, the lost book of Inky, they wrestled. Alright? Alalu lost all right now you gotta understand all right you know I, I i know a lot of shit all right i like i said i carry 
the RH negative blood, all right? So I can really understand and relate to this kind of shit, okay? When they duped it out, okay? Alalu lost. Now you understand, Alalu was much older than Anu, all right? Much, much older. So of course he didn't have, he, he had that, that, that fire in him, you know, but he's, he, he was, he was losing, he, he was older. Anu was younger, Anu was old also. But compared to Alalu, Alalu was much older. We talking about hundreds, maybe even thousands of years older, okay? You understand, they lifespans are different from ours. Even in the Lost Book of Inky, uh, it's, it says that 30 days, 30 Earth days is equal to one day on the planet of the Negro, okay? So they lived a long time. Now, when Alalu lost, a new disrespected them totally, right? If you get your ass whipped, you get your ass whipped, you know, point blank. That wasn't the first time he got his ass whipped by Anu. But Anu did something different. He put his fucking foot on his chest while he was down, okay? And, you know, even by today's standards, somebody put, put their fucking foot on your chest while you down, that's, that's a sign of, of ultimate disrespect. That's, that's kind of like spitting on somebody, okay? Nigga, you under my foot. I got you. I'm, I own you. You see what I'm saying? Instead of just letting it be a, a, a loss, a defeat. Yeah, nigga, I kicked your ass. He got a little arrogant, put his foot on his chest. So a lot of them, you know, took it as a sign of disrespect. And he was hurt by it. He was pissed. So he said, okay, nigga, you want to play it like that? Bite your fucking, uh, your dick off. And that's what he did. He not only bit his dick off, he swallowed it also. Alright? Now you gotta understand. You know, that's... It, don't don't think that it's so, so far-fetched and crazy. Because a lot of you folks that, that watch boxing, you can't tell me Mike Tyson didn't bite off uh, Evander Holyfield's ear and then spit it out. He didn't swallow it. He fucking spit it out. But that kind of shit does happen in the black community, all right? It does happen with black folks. All you got to do is pay attention and look. All right? There ain't no fucking difference. Mike Tyson got his ass whooped by Holyfield and the first time, the second time he bit his fucking ear off, you know? Ain't, no, ain't much of nothing changed as far as black folks and our behavior, okay? We just po right now. We not the way we used to be and shit like that. But that nigga behavior is still there. It is still there. It's hard for a black man to accept defeat, all right? It's hard. Because it's not just accepting defeat. You're not going to be looked upon by your people as you once were. Well, white folks, y'all look different, you know? White folks, some of y'all supported, okay, you know, the next time you can do it, etc., etc. Y'all put y'all weight behind shit, okay? But sometimes with black folks, it's a little different. It's a little, the, the pressure is on, okay? You got to win, not only win again, but you got to win the hearts and minds of your people when you lose. You know, you might have still lost a fight or something like that. You know, with, 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 in, the, in the white community or whatever, but you can still win the hearts and minds with the black community? Nigga, you lost. You know, that, that famous term uh, from the movie Friday, you got knocked the fuck out. If somebody come and say that shit to you when you were already lost, you know, I mean, you, you really, that's really going to even fuck you up even more, you know? But the thing about it is, he bit his dick off, he swallowed it. He made it a point to swallow it and say, nigga, you ain't getting this back. Alright? You're not getting it back. You're not having no more fucking kids. You know, that's why he swallowed it, okay? And the reason why he died when he swallowed it, it didn't, death didn't come immediately, okay? But let me tell you, when he, when, what happened when he bit it off and he swallowed it? It lived. And Lil's punk ass laughed, okay? Now that's his daddy. His daddy just got his dick.